So Rachel, during this pandemic, uh, truthfully, most people have just kind of shut down, but you, you haven't, you have actually, you're expanding. And you started uh, way back at the beginning, you were making masks, right? I was making masks. Um, before that, I still had my business, but I started making masks instead of doing my dance wear um, to keep busy and just to help others. So t Tell everybody your business. I should have started there. Tell everybody what you do. Um, so it's Lemonberry Dancewear, and I create and sell dancewear and dancewear accessories. Well, what I love about what you do is, you know, just we all go to work. You know, we all have our job, pay our bills, take care of our families, on and on and on. But you actually have a, you come at it from a different angle, which is, we talk about this, you were created on purpose, for a purpose. And you, every day, approach this with, okay, how can I serve God through my business? Talk about that. Um, so it started with the masks, mask, mask. Um, and uh, I just started making masks to give to people um, to use. I, I realized that that was a new necessity, kind of a new thing that we needed to use. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a problem solver. And so that was my way to help and solve a problem that I was seeing. So um, that's how it started. Um, I think we gave away over a thousand masks total. Gave so, them away. Yes. Yes. That's, that's amazing. And then on top of that, you have your dancewear business, but you also, uh, you also use that as a way of helping people that maybe can't afford dancewear because the arts is pretty expensive. <laughs> it's pretty expensive if you want to get your kids in the arts. It is. Um, and so then my daughter, uh, Lillian, she wanted to help. Um, and she was helping like clip threads and stuff for the mask. How old is but Lillian? Then Lillian is nine. She okay. turned nine in May. Yeah. Um, and so I got my little serger out that I have for backup and taught her how to make headbands. Um, and it started to help pay for her competition fees because um, dance is expensive. But then once we hit our goal for competition fees for, you know, the next couple of months for just competition fees, we decided we would like to um, sponsor a dancer. Um, and mm -hmm. so we sell headbands and we use all of the proceeds from the headbands to help sponsor other dancers. And it still helps Lillian contribute to her dance as well. So. And you got to tell everybody the scripture that you live by. So um, it's Colossians 3, and it's on my arm, uh, 14 through oh, 17. Can we see it? It's on your arm. Sure. Uh, well, if my wrist will, it's on my arm. And uh, it's wow. just a reminder uh, every day to, uh, when, when I'm working, to do it out of love. You're, above all else, clothe yourself in love. Um, and so I feel like I get to do that. I physically get to do that. I get to clothe people in love. Um, I so, love that is that is so, I love that that is just so focused on what you do I've never thought of that scripture in just the practical meaning of it like literally you are clothing people in right love. and and real quick um you now are in the middle of the pandemic expanding you're actually going to start a storefront you've got you've got a, a place you're opening up yes um in Broken Arrow we found a place and we are um, currently moving all of our stuff and opening a spot in Broken Arrow. Um, and we will be trying to reach the community as well. So we're thinking of ways to reach the community. Rachel, I, stories like yours are always so inspiring because you're, you're doing and using what God's placed in your hands, but you're thinking through the filter of how can I use this to bring glory to God and help others. And that is really inspiring. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you.